Hey guys, welcome back. So about to look at episode number three of Alien Isolation. So far, Amanda has got onto the Nostromo. She's discovered that there are some people on board, I'm assuming from Weyland Yutani, who are pretty violent and want to shoot her in the face. She met Axel, who kind of helped her for a little while before he was come undone by the alien. So last we saw Amanda was she was watching the alien, the xenomorph, as he, it, walked down a corridor. And then it said to be continued. Luckily, I've got part three right here ready to go. So, full screen. Three, two, one, go. Loving this, by the way. This is amazing. Thank you, IGN. Good idea doing this. I hope more games kind of do this thing. The digital series. So I... Still floating through space. One creature had done all of this. Mm -hmm. It had turned Sebastopol into a tomb. And now it was hunting anyone who was left. Oh, Jesus. Excellent. The alien, the alien is not a PG strange, property. Hating something for doing what it was made to do. But I hated it. And every immutable law that made it that way. Oh, no. I had to find Samuels, Taylor, station security, anyone who hadn't been killed, even one of Seekson's piece of shit androids. You really shouldn't be here. I need to get into comms control. It's urgent. That is a restricted area. It's an emergency. Don't you realize what's going on? Apollo has the situation in hand. Forget it. I'll find my own way in. Never seen an android look like that before in this show. This will help. In the movies. Let me pass. It's me, Hughes. Don't you recognize me? Listen to me. We've got to re-establish long-range communications. You're becoming hysterical. Get back! I'm warning you! Tut, tut. This is all this Why does the android look like that? They usually look human. now it's right by medical okay samuel listen to me it's not safe here seekson's got this place locked tight their goddamn androids are killing people that's impossible it's contrary to primary synthetic programming i've seen it samuels i guess seekson's got a different idea about synthetics and there's something else here a creature it's big and it's lethal ripley slow down a creature it's a life form of an unknown type some kind of alien organism it's extremely dangerous you and taylor ripley, need to make taylor is hurt she was injured by debris during the crossing. Oh no. How bad? I can't move her. I need medical supplies. We need to treat and pack and the And the Torrens? The radio is broken. I can't contact Verlaine. We're on our own. Shit. I'm suspicious. Okay. I'll come to you. Keep your eyes open. He's dodgy, that character. Getting off the station wasn't going to be easy. But I wasn't leaving without that recorder. I had come a long way to find the truth.
some kind of tracker. Love that music. Of course, I knew it was crazy. I knew when they said my mother had gone missing on the other side of the universe that it was just a nicer way of saying dead. Mm hmm. But there was always this other part of me that kept asking questions. Really good atmosphere. And the use of the ambient sounds, very good. What? I thought something was behind her. No. It's broken? <laughs> Falls corrupted, oh shit. This other part of me kept hoping, believing there was more to the story, following dead ends. And this was just another one. Damn. Fuck. Damn. Famous tracker. Oh, shit. was still fighting the creature. I just had to find them and hope they didn't think I was their enemy too. sent you a clear directive not to land on station. I told you we didn't hear your message. We understood you would be... Hey. Identify yourself. Ripley, from the Torrens. Relax, kid. What the hell is going on here, Marshal? Where's the security forces? You're looking at them. I've seen the creature. What is it? I don't know. Something brought here by Marlo, the captain of the Anisadora. The ship that found the flight recorder. Is there anywhere safe left on this station? That creature's running around and the Sikhs and synthetics are less than friendly. Goddamn androids. Ripley? Taylor needs attention. We have a basic life support unit back at HQ. Then let's go. Waits had gathered the other survivors, and he had medical equipment for Taylor. What we needed now was a way to kill that creature and get off the station. Calm down. We're safe now. Waits has a plan. A plan? Really? His fucking plans haven't done us much good so far. Maybe we'll be safe here. For now, anyway. How's Taylor? Stable. Should be mm. walking soon enough. Samuels is with her now. I've got Marlo in the cells, the lowlife who showed up with your flight recorder. Where's Marlo's ship? The Anisadora. He put it in a parking orbit around the gas giant. Son of a bitch won't give us the command codes to let us bring it in on auto. Maybe you can get more out of the unhelpful bastard. Go talk to him. Marlo? Who wants to know? My name's Ripley. I'm with the company. Here for your empty box already? You guys are keen, I'll give you that. 
I'm here for personal reasons. My mother was on the Nostromo when it went missing 15 years ago. You serious? What shit? Well, shit. We never found her ship, Ripley. Just the recorder. But you sure as hell found something else. What happened out there? I need a way out of here, Ripley. Maybe we can make a deal. Just start talking. I want to know everything. So do I. Guess I'm gonna have to wait. Episode 4 now. To be continued. Remember when things were to be continued and you had to wait like a week or a month? Those were the bad old days. So the synthetics in this game, like I understand a game has to mix things up a little bit. So the synthetics kind of look synthetic. Whereas in the movies, they were portrayed by Ian Holm, Lance Henriksen, Winona Ryder, and then Michael Fassbender and Prometheus. So they always looked human. So having them look synthetic, they really does. They really do stand out. But being a game, yeah, I guess it makes sense. You gotta see what your threat is. The game isn't about hidden synthetics and them trying to get you. But yeah, so far really enjoying it. Still kind of getting my head around the lip syncing and the facial animations. Yeah, very, very dated, but the story is engaging and the atmosphere is on point. The use of that music and the moody atmosphere, yeah, is really, really cool. Anyway, thanks for sticking around. I hope you're enjoying this series. It's amazing. Like I said, I hope other games go this route, like the older stuff. I missed this game for some reason. I just didn't really have an interest in buying it. I don't know why. But yeah, what the what IGN have done here, creating this little digital series, is masterful. So really, really enjoying it. Anyway, thank you for stopping by. Who, who? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to call you a who. Don't forget to subscribe. Catch these other videos out up above, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.